Uh, this is Ozzy at Schuster Shoes. I am a seaped, and today I will show you how to split a sole uh, for an elevation on a sneaker. All right. First of all, we have to mark the sole. I will do it with the pen. It should be a, a pencil, but for contrast, I will mark it down. So you want to leave out the the gray part All right so you mark it down then with a knife on this knife you hold it like a pencil you got your uh, middle finger like hold it like that and then the the index is put the pressure when you start cutting this the index touch the sole and you make it you want to be like uh, the same plane of the sole so it's, it look nice so you start cutting first about one eighth of an inch go around so now you got a, a little groove there the second time you put a little more pressure and this time probably will go like it maybe 3 16 uh, just for assurance you run another time and this is a little more deep so you can go another one. Just then you start slicing inside with this kind of knife or like a French type. It doesn't matter. So start from either way so there you go then it's just a question of sand it down and put cloud or whatever material you want to add on the elevation and that's it okay thank you very much now that we got the the shoe split ready for the elevation we get the the material and we mark the we trace the shoe Now, this is a 30 35 um, durometer density, so it's very light, but it doesn't have the disadvantage of compressing. So, what I do is I put plug on the heel strike right there. So, I cut it already. This is a, a vibrant uh, crepe, it's very durable, and I just mark right there like about five millimeter from the from the edge and then just cut out the the piece So I put the the plug in there. You don't even need to to cement it if it's, it's okay. I mean, if it's decent. And additionally, if you see that your patient is uh, supinating, you can put an, a plug on the side. Or 
if it's pronating on the inside, on the middle side. So, same concept. You just cut, cut out the where you mark. Plug it in there. And then you can just cut this off. And cement cement and apply the the elevation of the shoe and that's pretty much it doesn't even have to be the same color. So this one is stay there. I mean hidden. But mm -hmm. in this spot, they, they won't compress. What about the sole? The sole, no, after that, we have to, of course, after we put this, we, we replace the sole too. All right, and that's it. <laughs> Hello again. Now we're going to finish the elevation that we started with the plugs. And we're going to attach the, it's already glued across, and we're going to attach the sole. Uh, if you're not very confident, you can trace the sole first. But basically, you have to hide the plugs, of course. And like this. And then, on the, on the end, we can just super glue a little bit. Because it's a denser material. Yeah, just doesn't stick. Well, um, little hammer. Okay, I got a hammer. Oh, huh? There you go. Okay. Now we got a whole hammer up. Hammer down, and you're gonna sand it. This is a 24 grit sandpaper, 80 grit, 80 grit. So, let's start. A little, little more. got some pen mark it should have been a pencil so it won't show but this is pretty much the elevation already right okay <laughs> 